What's up guys, as you just heard, this is Mr. Merrick coming back with another video. It's been a long time, I know. And if you can't tell already, the mullet is still going on. Never stop mullet gang. Um, so, as you can see, it's obviously Mr. America. And I got some free time. I don't work as much now. I actually got two jobs, but I get off earlier on the one job. So I can actually, I have more free time now. So now I can try to start making YouTube videos again. And as you can see, that was the S10. You, you've heard much about it before. I talked about it before in videos. It's the first time you guys, I'm going to do a new review on it. Or just talk about it, really. It's not really a review. It's 20 years old. If you want a review on an S10, you can... Yeah. <laughs> but here she is. She is a 2000 S10 4x4. As you can obviously tell with the stickers. It's a 4x4 with the V6. The 4.3 Vortec. Great motor. And factory makes like 200 and like 10 horsepower. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, right now, she's old. She probably makes like 95 horsepower. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and as you can probably hear, she's a little louder. She has no muffler. Well, because what's, what's, what, why, why do you need a muffler? You don't need a muffler. And so, it's, she's loud. I love it. Uh, she's my daily. She's my only vehicle right now. Um, uh, and I've done a lot to her. I'm sorry, you're just looking at the ground. Probably pay attention more. <laughs> I've done a lot to her. I love her. And, uh, I got some big plans for her. As you can see, uh, I took off the lower skirt of the bumper uh, just so I have more approach angle for that off-road look and also just for functionality. And because it's the tis the season, I got a reef on the front just because I found it in the garage when I was cleaning. I was like, it's going to put on the truck. I got a light bar hidden behind it. Uh, I redid the grill. These are factory. I plastic dipped them, and you can still see through them. Those are factory headlights. I actually went back to factory. I had aftermarkets, but the one on the right would jink. Like, it wasn't connected. It would just just hang i didn't like how it looks so i just went back to the factory one i was like i have to screw it uh and then i have i have two hoods i have two hoods two tailgates for this truck this is the original hood i have a black hood with a hood scoop on it i'll show photos i just put them in like the corners whenever i'm not paying attention you're just looking at the ground and you can see photos maybe if i'm if i'm if i can remember how to edit um and so I got two hoods. I have a black hood with the hood scoop and I also have a black tailgate that has Chevy on the back of it. Those are just kind of like just my screw around because I meant that my black hood is actually the what I run with it all the time but because it's winter time I put on the normal hood so I'm sucking snow. And as you can see there's been a lot of stickers on this truck because what's a hillbilly truck without stickers? I got the America, uh, I got Redneck and then I got stickers on the inside. I'll show you that in a second. I'll, I'll show you the engine bay also. I actually got recently new tires. These are Firestone, obviously, Destination, uh, all trains, and they're amazing. I love them. Before I had street tires, and I love to go off road. You can't really go off road with street tires. You can, just get stuck. As you can see, it's muddy. I should have cleaned it, but I just wanted to get this out just because I haven't done it in forever. I got the good old uh, ammo uh, uh, antenna just, just because. And then. Got my window louvers for that uh, that fastback look with the Chevy stickers. And this is the real treat. All these stickers. <laughs> I'll just give you a second to look at all of them. Uh, yeah, it's awesome having a back window when you don't ever use it. <laughs> um, I got a lot of stickers. I plastic dipped my third tail light. Uh, you can still see when I hit the brakes. I got my spare tire back here. Uh, and I use it as a real truck, so that's why it's all beat up back there and it's dirty inside because it's a real truck. It's got dents. That's why once I get a new daily, this will be an off-road rig just because it's, it's it's an older truck. It's been through its lifetime. It's, a, it's I love it. Uh, I got aftermarket taillights. Honeycomb pattern. They're awesome. Um, also, I painted this whole black line on the bottom. I did that with my buddy. Uh, most of the things, I've this truck has never seen a shop when I've owned it. Uh, my dad and I have fixed everything on it that need to be uh I'll, I'll, I'll run through the things i've messed up i got balls on the back of it they're eight balls got it at summit racing for that racing uh, um tailgate this one is not the original tailgate so it doesn't fit right uh, i mean it, it fits and closes but it doesn't uh it's you have to pick it up to unlatch it so it, it sucks but hey it's actually i can it has a uh, the hooks on the side I can't open it. Oh, there we go. It has the the arms. 
when my other tailgate, the black one, doesn't have any arms. It just kind of hangs. But it's it closes properly. This I got to... Maybe? There we go. Ah, uh, so that's the tailgate. Um, my other one's black. I'll, sh I'll show the photos. I like to repeat myself, apparently. Um, did my gas cap, because, not gas cap, but the gas door, because why not? Uh, I, the rims were plastic dip forever, and I just painted them black. I got aftermarket lug nuts just to make a cleaner look. <coughs> um, do you like my rust repair? Uh, just some good old duct tape. Solid, because that third door is gone. I did have rust of the fenders, and I did fix a little bit of it, but as you can see, it's starting to come back through. You gotta redo it, because it was my first time ever doing it. Um... I call it my 50-50 paint job or the muddy paint job because from 50 feet or 50 miles per hour it looks mint or when it's muddy you can't see the imperfections and so it's kind of keep it muddy the only things that look nice are when my rims are really clean and shiny um, I'll pop the hood real quick show you all that that uh all that v6 power as you've already heard Ugh. Uh, just just the standard 4.3. I got a cold air intake because why not? I took out my AC. This there was an AC that was running through here. I replaced it. There was a it's actually an advanced auto auto zone. It's a pulley, just a pulley swap. Ah, swap, but you just swap that in, and so it removes your air conditioning for more power. Uh, took off the liners falling down. Uh, I'm trying to think of, I put in a light bar. This the fuse for it. Uh. Trying to think, I've uh, this has a sputtering problem. It has since the day I've gotten it, and we can't f f just point it out. I replaced my EGR master airflow sensor because I used to have no power when it first started up. It took like five minutes. I'd have no power. I felt like it was just sluggage. Uh, recently, my dad and I did a tune-up on it. As you can see, the new shiny cap. Uh, <laughs> whoever did the spark, whoever whoever sent this to the shop. Or whatever shop they did. They didn't replace these two spark plugs. They're the hardest spark plugs to get to. But they didn't replace these last two. So we thought, oh, that's the problem. But it's not. <laughs> it still sputters a little bit when it's cold. But it's a 20-year-old truck. Uh, she's also 20-year-old. She was leaking transmission fluid. But we did a... Uh, also, my transmission wanted to go out. That's, it was shooting code saying it wanted to go out. We did a... Uh, 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 they, uh, God, I can't think of the name, uh, gasket for the pan, not, not gasket, but, uh, the, we did, we did the bottom of the transmission, I'm not gonna, <laughs> um, that fixed that, uh, so, and it, it shifts a little hard, but it's, again, 20-year-old truck, it's, it's what you expect from a 20-year-old truck, uh, I abuse her, <laughs> I take her off-road, and she's my daily, as you can see from all the mud, but, uh, She's held up really good. Uh, I've only had to replace a couple of things from actually off-roading. I replaced my front wheel bearing that went out when I first went off-roading when I first got it. $168. My dad made me do it by myself. It was a life lesson. I still go off-roading with it because it was worth it because it's fun. <laughs> um, when I got the truck, we had to replace the front half shaft and a brake line and a brake caliper. And... Uh, wasn't it, it sat for a little bit it has low mileage it only has 178,000 miles on it uh when i got it, it was 150 it'll be a year in december just coming around in the corner i've had this truck for a year now um has treated me well has never let me broke down on the side of the road uh i've had a limp at home a couple times but that's just because my own fault or i tried to fix something and it didn't turn out to be the right way but i've it always came back home uh, I'm trying to think of other things. Uh, I, I haven't had to do a lot to it for being a 20 year old truck. She's uh she's dirty inside. Mm. Uh, as you can see, it's muddy because it's my work truck, and I I uh, work on a construction site. Uh, I got stickers up there. As you can see, uh, truck gang cherry bomb. Even though I don't have a cherry bomb on this thing. Uh, if you ain't first, you're last. And I got that cop flag. And then also my headliners don't tread on me because ee. -ee. <laughs> uh, Nothing special. My dad and I put in a radio. That was my Christmas gift last year. Uh, try, there's, there's nothing. I redid my steering wheel. I mean, that's a different steering wheel. My steering wheel is crap. Uh, haven't, haven't done much. Um, 
I took out some of the uh, plastic as you can see in that corner but just good old good old S10 I got some big plans for her once she is in my daily once I get a once I go in my electrician field for construction hopefully I'll get a new full-size truck and then this will be a trail rig my plan for this is to uh, put a six inch rough country lift on it so that'll, that'll I'll raise it up quite a bit and then if that isn't high enough for me I want to put a three inch body lift on it I think it's just gonna be just massive um, uh, get some big old mud th uh, mud tires on it so I, I think I can fit 33s to 35s underneath it with that uh, three inch body lift with the six inch suspension lift um, I'm gonna keep the four three till I blow it up or till I get tired of it and I'm gonna put a five three in it uh, uh, just because I don't want to do uh, uh, small block Chevy, I rather just do LS. LS for the world, it's so easy. I can it basically bolts in. What I probably do is I'll just bolt into the transmission, and once I blow up the transmission, I'll get a uh, for LS sixty eighty because that's a sixty. Uh, and it's, I just want to keep this truck for a while. I'm in a long time. Everyone gets rid of their first car, or just something happens to their first car. I want to keep mine and just kind of remember it and just kind of keep on building it. Uh, she uh she's a beaut uh so let's go for a ride and here we are again um so we're going for a little dry ride uh I, I wish i could show you the road but i don't have a way to point the camera uh i gotta talk loud because how loud the truck is just go for a little ride i can listen to it sputter and all the issues she has um but yeah with the dreams of it i hopefully turn this thing into a trail rig um, one of the dreams I have for it is I bought a uh, ZR2 Blazer rear tire like uh, the swing arm like a Jeep uh, I bought that I'd like to put it on this thing once it's on my daily because I'll be able to use, still use the bed but it won't it won't be as nice I have no head um, but I'd love to have that uh, spare tire holder it just wouldn't be practical with having it as my daily truck just because I use it as a real truck all the time. Uh, so I gotta wait for that. I'm trying to think of other things for it. Uh, I I wouldn't mind, instead of doing a 5.3 LS because everyone does that, I wouldn't mind doing like a supercharger or turbocharger just to get a little more power to the 4.3 if I don't blow it up. Uh, cause I don't know with the V8 it'll be a lot better with those big tires because like trying to have a 4.3 move 35s I, I'm in an S10 group and uh, someone has a ZR2 lifted on some 35s and that thing is the thing tops out at 45 the suspension wobbles that's that's his own fault it's not the engine's fault but yeah the engine is kind of underpowered for some 35s uh, but for a daily driver I couldn't ask for anything better I like older trucks. I don't like newer cars. I just like to sit up high. I'm a bigger guy, so I don't like cars either. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things that I love about this truck. Uh, like I said, it never left me stranded anywhere. It has always got me home. Even when I take it, uh, I haven't taken it off-roading a lot every once in a while. Uh, just because it is my daily and I want to break something. Uh, I think other things. Uh, I talked a lot when I was at the place. I was planning on talking more on the ride, but um, it's hopefully, and uh, I like to start making more videos. And I'll do like different things. I do the truck. I'll put on YouTube and like repairs and stuff when I do it myself. I'll try to post on YouTube, and I want to start making more videos and maybe hopefully get like a mini bike or something like just a small like go kart or something, and just do stupid stuff with that with my friends. Well, this has been Mr. America. I'll see you in the next video.